Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Chobu Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is Taco Tuesday, or as I like to call it, Trolling Tuesday, where, you know, it, it's all about the NFC East, because if you have any designs on uh, a deep playoff run or making the playoffs, it must first start at home in the NFC East. And unbelievably, the Dallas Cowboys are already 2-0 and in the division, only five games into the season. And I want to say that the Dallas Cowboys are 10-1, and or is it 12-1, and in their last NFC East games. They have literally dominated. Now, I know my man Rashid, he, he's been said that, you know, of course the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott, that they're not winners. He, he's not a winner. Because it's only garbage-ass teams in the NFC East. Well, okay, I, I, okay, that's fine. If you want to consider yourself a garbage-ass team, okay. But we are going to go around, and we're going to check out my brethren, you know, because I, I, I'm tight with all my, my people in the NFC East, and, and win or lose, I want to, on Tuesdays, just check the pulse and see how everybody else is feeling. So let's go ahead and start with, with Philly 500. <laughs> okay, that's out of the way. okay sorry wrong clip I, I that was the wrong clip forgive me forgive me let me go ahead and uh see if i can get the right thing up in here okay Let, let's go to philly 500 and listen to how he's feeling about his team frustrating and if you want to tell me well they don't like miles sanders okay then bring up jordan howard and use Jordan Howard, Kenneth Gainwell, and Boston Scott. Where's Boston Scott? They don't use him. Uh, to me, everything this coach said that he was about in the offseason, to me, so far I don't see it. I don't see it. You know what I mean? Now, he could fix it. He could be learned. He could change his ways. He could have gotten a big morale boost today with today's win. I don't think we're going to know um, until the year plays out. And that's what I'm basically giving him. I'm giving him this year. I'm giving Jalen Hurts this year. I want to see what these guys can do. Uh, and, and so far with, with um, Nick, Nick Cotite. <laughs> Nick Cotite. I, I, I really oh, you. my God. I, mean, I feel like sometimes it's more interesting and a more complex offense to watch Mark Holmes cook his meat. What? <laughs> than to watch what he's trying to do on offense. And, you know, then you have Jalen Hurts. Well, Jalen Hurts, you know, he wasn't all that great today. I mean, he wasn't. Uh, I think I gave him a C, C plus, somewhere around there for today. Um, he missed some throws, bad interceptions, um, things like that. And when he, you know, he, he has a tendency to roll to the right. As soon as things go, he rolls to the right. He missed some guys, um, but here's my thing with that. He has only played nine games. This was his ninth game. He should not be having to carry the weight of this offense. They should be using him like most normal teams use young quarterbacks. They try to have a running game, try to take pressure off of him with a running game, and then they tell him, well, you know, worry about not turning over the ball, be a game manager, those kind of things. And then the young player goes out there and he can actually start getting used to playing and having a game slow down for him and all those things. Then as he gets more comfortable, dumb light. <laughs> what the uh, hell? Comfortable, then what the hell? And you can give him more stuff to do. I feel like they throw him to the wolves sometimes. Sometimes. I think Nick Seriani just... You know, as he's rattled, as he's experiencing through the things through the game, I don't think they do anything to help him. And it's frustrating to me. It's because frustrating. I feel like how are you supposed to truly evaluate him if you're not putting him in manageable situations? It doesn't always have to be the perfect situation. And it's not all, all on Nick Kotite because. Wow. He is literally already calling him Rick Kotite. 
Wow. You, you know, he was considered the worst coach that they ever had. So that doesn't bode well. Philly, you know, he's got the victory cigar. He's standing out in front of his garage, and you see him doing a quick to get the light to come back on. Wow. Okay. Let's check in with my other son, Pizzle. <laughs> we got the whistle. Can I get a whistle? Can I get a whistle? I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to sit here and you you know you, you get ready for the game all week long you're excited on a sun you know for sunday to get here so you can watch your favorite team play you can you, you know root them on all this and that little baby doll whistle 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 and you just assume i i know it's stupid when it comes to the game of football you just assume that all your guys are going to be there to compete and try to win the game. Little baby doll whistle. Whistle. Saquon Barkley goes down. Whistle. Whistle. Daniel Jones goes down. Whistle. Whistle. Kenny Galladay goes down. Whistle. Whistle. The water boy goes down. Whistle. Whistle. It's obvious to me that Mark Holmes put out some what? Joe Boo, cowboy Joe Boo, Voodoo practice <laughs> because I have in all of my years oh, of watching Giants shit. football, I don't think I've ever seen star players for us just drop like flies in one game. And of course, it had to happen against you know none other than the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, how about them Cowboys, oh, Pizzle? Whistle. <laughs> I'm not gonna be. Here's the thing about Daniel Jones. Whistle. Baby doll. There's two things that Daniel Jones has to do before he can guarantee be that franchise quarterback. Stop fumbling. the ball, which he's done a better job of, and he's got to stay healthy. And I don't blame today's injury on Daniel Jones, like you're playing football, you're going to get concussed. Mm -hmm. I kind of blame the play call because it's just honestly silly to, 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 to run that kind of play. But, you know, I, I get the idea of it and hope that it all works out. But the end result, you know, your quarterback who clearly can't protect himself, who's always finding a way to get hurt, puts himself in a position to get hurt. And then because we don't have him, which is something that we, we, we took for granted with Eli, because we don't have him, we lose a big part of our offense. Phil Simms was even saying this week, and I agree with him, that Daniel Jones is probably the best player on the freaking team, little baby doll whistle. <laughs> so if you lose Daniel Jones, you might just lose. Oh, Pizzle. Pizzle, Pizzle. Definitely go check out Pizzle's. Oh, boy. Check out Pizzle's. Uh... YouTube channel, sub him up and, and make sure you troll his ass. Okay. He trolled me all week long. You know what they say? Karma and payback is a bitch. So make sure you go ahead and get it. And don't forget about Philly 500. And tomorrow, hopefully we'll be working with uh, Rio. Um, 
I'm trying to understand how Rio, who is uh, he's he's new to YouTube. Okay, he's closing in on a thousand subscribers. Let's see if we can get him over. Go over on his channel and hit him up, sub him up, and say ha, ha, ha. Uh, the Washington football team. They kind of dumped poo on your head, didn't they? they? They dropped some poo on your head. They they got you fooled. They bamboozled you. You thought that you had a good team, uh, but don't worry, Rio. Rio, don't worry. You are welcome at my house anytime. You know, if you want to go ahead and get like the cardboard cut out and putting your seat up in there and just sneak on out and come on over and have some real food. You don't have to worry about poo falling on your head. Yeah, now we're gonna talk trash about your team, but you don't have to worry about poo on your head. Let's check and see how Rio and the Washington football team is doing. Cass here with me as well. What's going on, man? How's it feel What's over up, there in Rio? California? At least you get some hey, hours of the some... day to still enjoy it, right? We do. We got some nice weather right now, so you know I can't complain too much. But right, after me... watching that pathetic performance, all, right, all I can got. do is enjoy the weather. Let me see what we got in the chat. We got my guy Justin Blunt in the chat. What's good, Austin? What's up, man? Redskins one seventy eighty four. Armand Brown. Let me put this up here. The Washington Trash Compactors. We suck. Oh no! One hundred percent correct. No. We suck. You can't even I'm compact can trash, man. We can just call this like a group therapy session and. Where do we even start? I will let you guys start because I have a lot to say, and I feel a lot about what I just witnessed today. And where we, where should we start? Should we start with the defense or Heineke? I, I feel like we know the defense is bad. The defense isn't there. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I am so sick of people saying that Taylor Heineke is a franchise quarterback. <laughs> this guy proves week in and week out that he is not. Yes, yeah. he has led some good comebacks against some shitty-ass teams. But what happens when we get up against a good defense? The same shit. He's late to throws. He's got a noodle for a fucking arm. And he's just making horrible decisions. We got lucky right. that he didn't have five picks today. Oh, two, very two lucky. He could have had, had six or seven. Damn. Like, it could have been one of those Romo classics Ooh, today. Digs. Like Can't wait till he plays against them. Noodle arm and late on throws. Those things are the complete antithesis of each other. To be late on throws and have the luxury to be able to do We so, are terrible. You have to have a strong 22. arm so you can put the ball on oh the road. Oh, my goodness. He didn't see the field. He left so many plays on the field. It looked like Terry was being strapped by Marshawn Lattimore. I promise you, he was not. He was, he was not, open no. all day, and the quarterback did not see him, and – Man, like, this was all the humbling and reality check that we needed regarding this guy. Fun story, fun talent, fun story, but limited talent arm-wise. And it should show you this is not our answer. Josh, how did you feel about Heineke's performance today? Um, Heineke, I mean, he, uh, like you said, Rio, he just wasn't seeing the field. I mean, I saw – uh, plenty of times where he threw the deep ball where he could have dumped it off to a wide open receiver, <laughs> stuff like that. That young, inexperienced quarterback. How to fix the team? Cut Collins, trade Jackson, bring back Reeves, bring in a veteran and, quarterback, trade uh, for a good linebacker. Some of those Jackson. errors cost wow. him in interceptions and um, not throwing the ball far enough um, in that goal line play to Seals Jones, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. to Wow. Okay, so if you are going around the NFC East right now, the Eagles, well, they got a victory, and they're feeling at least a little bit better, but hey, <laughs> uh, boy, ain't exactly happy. When you start calling your coach uh, Rick Kotite, that's not a good thing. Pizzle, well, he's lost the belt. He's lost his mojo, and he thinks that I put a hell a hex on his team. And Rio, the Washington Compactors. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? All I got to say is you play to win the game. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. 
Get out. Because it 